What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here and today we are going to be playing some Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Today, I finally, this is the first episode where we are in our own garage. First two episodes, we were in that little tutorial garage. I kind of had no idea about it. Finally figured it out, got the car, drove it out, and we're good now. We are here in our own garage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, we're going to check the orders, and we're going to basically get working. So what do we got? We got two cars here. Uh, a year and a half ago, I bought... Oh, let's do this one. This one's cool, actually. Oh, right, so this is like... That's not the car, is it? Maybe it is. Alright, so a year and a half ago, I bought my son this car. He said he's not interested in anything except filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil and tires. Alright, so this looks like... This looks like a simple order that a garage will take in. Just check oil, tires, that's it. Alright, so let's start our own... So let's, uh, so yeah, tires are bad. Okay, so we're going to get our first experience at mounting tires right now. Let's move the car over to car lifter A. All right, ooh, looks like we got some rust on it too, but you know what? The order did not say fix the rust. The order said oil and tires. So, or, uh, oil, blah, blah, oil and tires. So that's what we're going to be doing. Is that it? Did somebody call me or something like that? What was that little beep? Oh, yeah, I think that's another order. All right. All right, so we got one tire off. We're just going to stick to this one right now. Let's find the tire machine. Where is it at? What's this? That's not it. There it is. All right, so we're going to take the tire off first. We're going to separate them. Let's see how good this... The animation is... Pretty good, actually. So yeah, what happens is you pop the bead, you pop the tire off, the rim, and then you're able to go. And then, take parts. Um, now, do you buy new tires? Oh, wow, you can... Okay, you have to go access... Oh, man, that's gonna suck. Alright, let's go find our computer really quick. Uh, here's our old janky looking computer. <laughs> Alright. Yep, we gotta buy tires. Oh, and we gotta see what kind of tires he has. Standard tire 205 55s. Alright. 205 55s. Uh, buy four of these. 205, 55, 16s. So 16 the size, 25 is the width, side to side. Uh, uh, the profile, 55. I can't remember what that is exactly, but I feel like it's somewhere like interior. I can't remember. I used to, I, I learned it all way back. I don't remember what it was. But let's pick up four. It's a thousand bucks already. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. All right, you know what? And while we're right here, let's just, uh, let's just take off the rest of these. And then this is a lot slower than before. Like when we played the tutorial, I'm pretty sure we had a lot of the upgrades because before you could just pop those things off. You know what? Actually, I'm going to settings really quick. I want to change the game volume. The game volume is crazy loud when you take those tires off. Like this right here. Yeah, the air impact is crazy loud. All right, there we go. Hopefully it's not too terribly loud. I'll probably have to adjust it if it's too loud. All right. All right. And if you guys notice, you do get one XP per every single time you take something off. I'm pretty sure you get an XP for every single time you put something on. So you could probably just take something off and put it on over and over and over again. Um, but I'm pretty sure they patched that so you couldn't do that in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. But you know what? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably wrong. Let's separate parts. Yep. Alright, so looks like we're gonna have to wait for the animation on all of these. Alright. Take parts. Put another one on. Do this one. Alright, we'll wait for this guy. Well, you know, while we're probably waiting for this one, he could probably be... No, because you got a mountain, then we gotta balance the tires too. I wonder if they want us to, to balance them too. I hope they probably do. We probably have to balance. Probably when you put the new ones on, you're probably gonna have to balance the tires. 
Alright, are we good? Alright, now let's put them back on. Alright, yep. Yeah, I, I really like the animation. The animation does pretty good at it. Let's install this guy on this one. Right now we could probably go sell those old tires too for a little bit of extra cash on the side. There we go. And say this is actually really quick compared to what it would actually take you to put tires on. Putting on tires is a pain in the butt. All right, there you go. And while that's going, we're gonna toss that guy up. We'll run back over here. No, let's try multi let's try multitask. Okay, let's bounce this one. Let's put it on the side. It's gonna run it. It's gonna see if it's got any wobble. Do we have any readings on the screen? No, it's not gonna read anything. All right. Oh yeah, it's gonna cycle through a few times. All right. So while we're waiting on that, we're gonna empty the oil and put new oil back in. Move this over to lifter A. All we got is one lifter too, which is kind of sucks. Use equipment. All right, that's drained. Move equipment back. And now we're going to lower the car. All right, take this tire. All right. So it shows you which ones are balanced and which ones are. Like these are unbalanced. Okay, that makes some sense. All right, now let's load up more oil. Where's the fill cap? There it is. Nope. Oil fill plug. Alright, we're going to fill this guy up until the the oil starts toting on its side. There we go. Close that. And this guy's done over here. Take that one. And then, so yeah, like these little markings here, since these ones don't have it, means they're balanced. These ones still need to be balanced, so let's get these ones. And then we're going to start putting these ones back on. Alright, there we go. So it looks like you cannot put unbalanced wheels back on anyways. Alright, let's walk over to the other side. Sounds like the machine is still going over there, so we'll give it a second. Alright, just finished, pop this bad boy off of here, this one back on, nope, no, 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 yep, alright, I can't wait till we hit, uh, I push her for finishing jobs, you get a ton of extra XP, and that'll be really helpful, because we want to do a much, as much jobs as possible, so that we can level up and get that, uh, the extra skills to, like, do things faster, uh, unlock the tablet. That'll be the main one I want to do, especially for when we do restorations, because we are gonna have to be uh, be buying a lot. All right, spins the end off. Looks good. All right. Last tire right here. This is a nice looking car too. I really like this. Looks like a like a Ford Fiesta. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna hold down to drop the car. Watch it slide out from the tires. All right. Change oil, drain and refill new. Please check the oil and tires. Okay, so they want us to check uh, the air filter and the fuel filter too. All right, well, fuel filter is gonna be right there. And air filter right here. Pop off the clips. All right. I really wish there's a difference in sensitivity because it's like crazy sensitive. Like my mouse, my key just goes everywhere. Oh, that is a dirty air filter. All right. Let's go over here. Let's go to the body part. Actually, not body parts. Uh, main shop. 
All right, so we're gonna need a fuel filter and an air filter. Okay, so the regular air filter. And let's type in uh, fuel. There she is. All right. Well, now let me click on it. All right, we'll just select them all back in then. Pop the air filter in. And then we could sell all the old parts, which is gonna be nice. And then I think we have one more car to work on that somebody's called about so far. Actually, we have two calls waiting. But one of the other ones was, uh, they want some brake work done. Alright. Car status looks good. This looks like we spent about $891. Task bonus, job bonus, $2,100 in total. Finish the order. And you get a bonus 112 XP. That is quite a bit. Alright. So we got another M. We got an M. Din lots in a Mayan M3. All right. Well, what's this one want? Brake problems and more brake problems. All right. So there's timers on these. Okay. So you have to finish them. Or you have to take them within a certain time. Okay. Well, let's take this one first because this one looks like it's probably gonna pay more. Oh well, that is a that is a bad body. All right. ABS module brake pads. Let's see which ones. Alright, so going into the overview mode, you can see the brake module there is bad. And it looks like the pads back here are bad. So that's that's helpful. So let's pop this guy up. Let's hop in on this brake module right here. The There we go. And then we'll head over here to our uh, computer and we'll get... No. No. Where are we at? Oh, you gotta... Okay. We're good. We don't need that. Let's go back over to the car and click on it. So we need module. We need pads, disc, caliper, and another disc. So ventilated and a regular disc. Alright, well, let's type in... So we need one regular, one regular... Or one disc, one regular, and then we'll type in... We'll get some pads. And then we also need some caliper. I don't think we need the cylinder, the piston or not. Um, I don't know. I don't know. They didn't say. We're not going to. All right, we got the module. Let's pop the module in first, and then we'll go to that back tire. Yep, brand new one here. Anti-lock brake system. There we go. All right. Close the hood. She looks good. Get this car up on the left. So it said. So there's okay. So I think it's the back ones. Is it the back ones? Oh, and it's this front rotor. Okay, so it's the front rotor and it's the rear and the two rear two tires also. So let's pop off this guy. Okay, so it's definitely this disc. This disc is completely just torn apart. As you can see, it's like all rust. Alright, pull off that disc. Uh-oh, come on. There we go. Brand new disc. See see how see the difference in the in the color? Obviously. Crazy shiny. Oh, oops. We put on the wrong one. It's fine. Yep. All right, put on your tire. All right, I was hoping that all the work was gonna have to be done to one tire, but it looks like it's like these back three. Maybe the front one, I wasn't able to see. All right, then this rear brake disc is definitely bad. So then it's probably that it's the caliper on the other uh, rear passenger side. So we'll take this off, put on new brake discs, brake pads. So it's like those pads are bad too. Alrighty. 
We'll check the uh, car status right now after this. How's she doing? Okay, so one more caliper. Pretty sure the caliper's right there. Yep, it's really red. Alright. Ooh, that disc looks really bad too, actually. But the disc is not on the order, so we're not gonna do it. That's like a good that's a good rule of thumb to go by if you guys are playing this. Uh, if it's not on the order, don't do it. It'll end up just costing you extra money, and I'm pretty sure they don't pay you back for that. Oh, didn't need to take that off. Alright, this one will work. It's from the other side, but you know what? Oh well. Alrighty. Alright, that is the work. That's all we gotta do. I think that, that should be good. That took like four minutes. That's not too bad. Alright, everything looks good. Check the car status. We solved all their faulty parts. And there you go, there's some extra money. Alright, let's check out another order really quick. Alright, so brake problems. Oh, we got another one up here though. Play both. Huh. Alright, well they're both brake problems. So we're gonna do the uh which one's gonna pay us more. This one will probably give us a good amount. Alright, let's take this order. Alright, so we're gonna do this one and then this is gonna be the last car we're doing for today. Uh move this over to car lifter A. Man, all these cars are just like awful. Alright, so brake discs and a caliper. So let's go buy two brake discs, the ventilated brake discs, and a caliper. Alright, there she is. One, two. Let's uh, buy the the discs. There we go. Oh, we got another call. What's what do they want this time? Oh, is that engine problems? Poor brake performance. So looks like for the beginning, it looks like all we're gonna be doing is brakes. So back right front right. Back left front right. Alright. I really want that tablet. That'll be definitely be one of the first upgrades we go for if we can. Uh oh. Nope. 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 I accidentally started clicking on all the wrong things. And then I'm not sure. I think I'm probably level 5 or something like that is when they let you go check out the junkyard. And that's probably going to be one of the things that we're going for. So I might play a little bit off camera, guys, just to uh, advance us a lot faster. To get to level five, yes. And then there is a minimum uh, acceptance for like all the parts, so you could be using old parts on these cars if it's over what you need it to be. Like it's 55, and you have a 56. You could use the 56, and you'd get away with it just fine. And you could save some money in the process. All right, let's go back over here. Man, this car is like four different colors. I think the caliper on this one was bad. I think. Okay, yeah, it looks like. Oh, why does it do? Why did it do that? So it looks like the the caliper and the brake discs look bad. Oh yeah, the caliper's in a one percent condition. Look at that. Is this the bad disc? I don't know. No, that's not the bad disc. All right. Put everything back on then. I hope that's that's not the bad disc. I'll be I'll be pretty mad if I take all this whole tire off. All right, let's let's wait. Let's wait to put that back on to make sure that this is the bad disc up here. All right. There's definitely a lot more sounds. Yep, this is definitely yep the twenty percent. This is the bad disc. There's definitely a lot more sounds in this game. Uh than 2015 because 2015 was the one I played that's the most recent one uh, compared to this one uh, that one was there's not not nearly as much detail but it was a really good game still I really enjoyed it I played a lot of that game I mainly did restorations in that game and like uh, building really high horsepower cars 
And I'm hoping I can do the same thing with like that in this game, but I want to do junkyards. Like find a junkyard find, like an old challenger or something, and then just turn that thing into like a 1200 horsepower. That would be really cool. All right, let's go put it on the rear. And then we're gonna call this job good and we'll end our day today. Three jobs, made a few thousand bucks. Not too bad, not too shabby. Not bad at all. All right, let's go drop this. Yeah, this is three or four colors. I think it's four. Yeah, probably. That's pretty crazy though. All right, make sure we did everything. We did only make 411 bucks, you know what? We didn't spend too much on it. I'm okay with it. All right, level two. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, no, that's a spring puller. All right, so level one. 50% faster screwing and unscrewing part examination. Let's do the screwing. We do that way more than we do the part examination. So that'll be a way nicer. All right. We got... Do we have it? Yep, we got it. We got that. Nimble hands. All right, guys. We're going to end the episode here. We got a lot of work done. We did three jobs. Three jobs. got level two. We're starting to figure out the way, the flow of this game, how to do things a lot faster. For now, it looks like a lot of our jobs are just going to be uh, just like break work, uh, maybe a little bit of suspension work later on. That's when it gets really tedious and there's a lot of stuff to do. But thank you, everybody, for watching. If you guys aren't yet, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a ton more of these videos. We're going to be expanding our empire, growing our garage, get that triple or quad car garage like we had in the tutorial. It's going to be crazy. Hope everybody stays tuned. I'll see everybody in the next video.